This morning, the latest clash over border policy. We won't just fight to secure the border. We will secure the border. Biden administration's plans to end Title 42, a public health policy that allows for the expedited removal of migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border during the COVID-19 pandemic. That measure put in place by the Trump administration has blocked more than 1.7 million attempts to cross the southern border. In March alone, accounting for half of the migrants expelled. Now Republicans say repealing Title 42 will lead to a bigger spike in migrants trying to enter the United States just ahead of a summer surge. Title 42 being lifted means 500,000 over the next five weeks. My state of Texas, we just simply can't uh, absorb this. Immigration advocates argue Title 42 is being used as an immigration enforcement tool rather than a public health measure. Look, Title 42 is not consistent with our values and it doesn't keep us safer. But a growing number of Democrats, including some in key midterm races, have spoken out against the policy change. Arizona Senator Mark Kelly warning that this administration's lack of a plan to deal with this crisis will further strain our border communities. The White House says they are preparing. That includes moving officers, agents, DHS volunteer force personnel to rapidly decompress points along the border and more efficiently process migrants. Texas Congressman Henry Cuellar, a Democrat whose district includes part of the border, calling the administration hypocritical. How can we have the, the emergency, a federal public emergency extended to July 15th and say there's a pandemic going on in the United States, but at the border, everything's fine and just let people uh, in into the United States. Now, the Department of Homeland Security says they are anticipating a surge of up to 170,000 migrants crossing the border when Title 42 is rolled back on May 23rd. Now, meantime, in Washington, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is expected to testify on Capitol Hill. Officials tell NBC News that the White House views this as an opportunity for him to suggest how they would roll back this policy and also point out the fact that Congress could take action on immigration. Savannah? All right, Morgan Chesky at the border for us. Morgan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.